Hey guys, what's up? Connor here, and I'm back. Now, um, I figured I'd do a Boeing bot tutorial. This is like a silent Boeing bot, just like a notice. And in fact, I'm actually going to use the code from notice to kind of explain this to you guys. Now, what you guys need to understand is from now on, I'm going to be doing um, any tutorials that aren't like um, ESP render related. All tutorials are going to be done like this, most likely. And um, the reason for that is basically I code all the stuff and then I throw it into GIST, which is a GitHub thing, kind of like Pastebin, only it's more designed for actual um, code rather than just random pasted text, I don't know. But anyways, I've been gone a long time, I'm finally back, um, I apologize, and I'm trying to help any of you guys who comment asking for help on my videos, but if I can't, we're having a really um, great amount of growth in this Minecraft client community, so hopefully someone who's a little bit more experienced, who understands what's going on a little bit better, can help you out. And if you do understand what's going on a little bit better, and you can take the time out of your day to help someone, that would be excellent because I'm very busy right now. So anyway, um, Boeing bot, this is very crucial that you understand this. Um, the thing that you need to understand is that you aren't going to be able to just copy and paste this into your client. This actually does have some things that your client will not have, and I'm going to explain exactly how you can get this to work in your client. However, if you just try to copy and paste this and then comment down below, I'm going to not respond and I'm going to make sure no one else responds because you have to listen and you cannot just copy and paste this into your client. So anyway, what I was going to say, first off, something that you'll need to fix is rather than class being or extending notice module, it's going to ex it's going to extend module, which is the mod class that we made, the mod super class. And that's the first thing. So make sure it doesn't extend notice module because clearly you don't have the, that. You only have module because that's what we've been working on. So as we go down, uh, as you can see, I didn't don't have any imports in here. So you're going to have to import all the external classes that you're accessing. Also, I don't really remember. It's been so long since I've worked with the actual tutorial client and I actually got rid of it. Um, but all I know is that I'm not sure if our actual... Um, the constructor in our original module class what it had but the name is Boeing bot the category should be combat you guys can probably figure that out and if you can't then you probably shouldn't really be at this point anyway and you probably have a lot of stuff that's broken in your client be just refer to one of your other mods if you're not exactly sure anyway public void on update if get toggled so if the mods toggled then we're gonna do the pre update then the post update now these methods are right here we're gonna have to add those before we you know, call upon them to do various functions. So first off, um, basically you're going to see notice.dnotice.getminecraft.dplayer.getCurrentEquipped item. Now you can just change notice.dnotice.getminecraft, this part, I uh, can't highlight it, yeah, this part. Anywhere you see that, it's just going to change to minecraft.getminecraft rather than notice.dnotice.getminecraft, and it'll work fine. Same here, rather than have notice.the notice.getminecraft, it will be minecraft.getminecraft. And it says if blah 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 the player, if their equipped item is instance of item bow, so basically if they're holding a bow, then the following things will be performed. So basically this dot target entity, so that's our target entity that we're currently at, is going to be get cursor entity. And you might be thinking, what the heck is that? Well, that's actually an entity that is down here. Yeah, yeah right here public entity living base get cursor entity. I'll explain that later. There's a lot of math in here that you guys won't understand and I really am not going to explain all of it because that would make this tutorial super long and I'm somewhat limited on time. So now if you guys will see that line, that nothing should change there. And this is actually completely unnecessary for you guys, these two lines right here, 26 and 27, remember that. You don't even need these. Basically, that's checking and notice if your friend, if the current entity that you're targeting is a friend. And basically, if it is a friend, then it's just going to um, return out of this whole function because you don't want to shoot a friend. Um, and then we're going to see if this dot target entity equals equals null. So basically, if there is no target for you to shoot at, then we're going to break out as well. And basically, it's going to set the. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, it's going to set the target pitch to your pitch and the target yaw to your yaw and then it's going to silent aim at the target entity 
Now silent aiming is actually a function that we have right here. Now int bow current charge is notice dot the notice dot get minecraft dot get dot the player dot get item in use duration. Basically that gets your bow charge if you can figure that out by the um, naming convention of this integer. So uh, as always notice dot the notice dot get minecraft turns into minecraft dot get minecraft. Now bow velocity is equal to bow current charge divided by twenty float. So basically that is going to be your bow velocity. And then it sets bow velocity to bow velocity times itself. So bow velocity squared plus bow velocity plus or times 2.0 divided by 3.0. And that's going to get your actual bow velocity. And if the bow velocity is under 0.1d, it's going to break out. And if the bow velocity is above 1.0, it's just going to set it to 1.0 x distance is basically the target entity's x position minus your x position c distance same i distance is basically the y distance in a sense trajectory xz is basically square rooting x distance squared plus z distance squared i trajectory xz is basically square rooting um the trajectory xz that we just made basically it's um uh, squaring that and adding it to the i distance squared and then the float trajectory theta 90 is basically going to cast a float to math.asian2 z distance um x distance and I know I like pronouncing that wrong it's fun um times one, 180 divided by pi I don't know why I just didn't use math.pi I don't know I'm crazy minus 90.0f um bow trajectory is minus get trajectory angle solution law float trigger blah 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 blah, blah. I am very limited on time, I apologize. And a majority of this actually was originally Arrow's code, he coded Flare. However, some of it was broken so it had to be fixed, and that was basically what I did. And by some of it I mean basically the base for the, I don't know, basically the basis of the whole code, but it was a good start, a good kind of building block in a sense. So basically after that you're going to set the pitch to the bro bow trajectory, so basically what that's doing is it's setting your pitch to which is, if you're not sure what pitch is it's side to side rotation um in a sense like rotation pitch and y'all is up and down and it's setting it to your trajectory theta and look up geometry fun okay public entity living base get cursor entity we actually referenced this a little bit earlier basically we're getting an instance of an entity living base that will eventually return as our cursor entity and double distance to entity is 1000 d now, basically, it's going to go through all of the um, entities in the world. It's an iterator, and basically, it's iterating through all the entities in the world. And the object, current object, is basically ob entity iterator dot next. That's another way of essentially doing for module, module, and then the module list. It's the same thing, just a little bit different way using the for loop. Now, if current object is instance of an entity, then all this fun stuff is going to happen. If it's not an entity, then it really shouldn't be targeted. For example, like a block, or I'm not sure if a block is considered a loaded entity, but I think it is. I'm not really sure. I don't go into that kind of stuff. But nonetheless, we want to make sure it's an entity, otherwise it shouldn't be shot. And basically, we're getting the target entity, and we're casting entity to the current object, because it actually is an object, not an entity, so we need to become an entity, so we do that, blah, 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 blah. So... After that, we are going to say if the target entity isn't an entity living base, so basically if it's not a living entity, and if the target entity, or, I mean, or, that, that's or if you didn't know that, or if the target entity is the player, because we don't want to shoot ourselves, that would be like suicide, then we're just going to continue, and the continue um, keyword, I don't know what you want to call it, basically, rather than breaking out of the loop entirely, it just continues on to the next object in the loop. Now, if the get distance to entity, so if the entity is m more than 140 blocks away, or if um, the entity can't be seen, or if the, um, basically if it's dead, so you don't shoot it twice, because you, you might shoot a dying entity, then it's going to continue. That's basically to prevent that. And if the entity is null at this point, then it's going to, um, set it equal to that target entity that we were just messing with. And basically this is the same stuff we were working with before, except it's almost reversed in a sense. Um rather than having it be um determining how we should set our angle, 
it's basically determining what angle this entity's at and whether or not it would be an acceptable target. And um, basically what we're getting here is a bunch of different angle stuff and we just want to make sure that this is an acceptable target. That's what most of these checks are doing. I'll just sum it up at that. And before we were looking at this get trajectory get trajectory angle solution low. And basically um, we have a velocity increment and we are square rooting the bow velocity. As you can see there are several parameters. We are actually cube we no 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 we're um raising the bow velocity to the fourth power and we're taking away the velocity increment times the velocity increment times angle x times angle x so angle x squared plus 2.0f times angle y times bow velocity squared and with that we'll return um basically we're getting the <laughs> degrees of this angle by doing math dot two degrees and casting a float to it because this is a float and if you didn't already know, this basically gets the distance between two angles. So float angle one, float angle two, float angle two entity is math.abs. <laughs> and to sum it all up, it gets your angle to entity because I really don't want to explain that because I hate angles and angles confuse me. So sometimes I like using other um, functions that I don't know how they work, but they work so YOLO. I don't know, but all I know is that gets a distance in between angles, so, yeah, call me a skid, I don't really care, um, you know, I'm, like, 14, so, it's not really super within my knowledge, but nonetheless, that was the code, um, hopefully you guys can find this as some use, make sure you import everything, like I said, blah, 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 and make sure you change notice.thenotice.getminecraft2, minecraft.getminecraft. So that sums up this tutorial. Comment below if you liked it. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever you guys like doing on YouTube. And hopefully I'll be starting an OpenGL series for Minecraft that shows you how to do all sorts of rendering stuff. Like, hit spheres. I think that mod's kind of stupid, but people seem to like it sometimes. Um, chest ESP. Um, player ESP. I don't know what else. Waypoints, that kind of stuff. So we'll see you guys later. Adios, hasta la vista, and goodbye.